Belgrade, capital of Serbia, accommodating two million dwellers, October 2004. Every day, early at dawn, the vehicles of the public transport company GSP Beograd appear on the city streets to drive approximately 1,700,000 passengers to their destinations. The Road to the Future The Belgrade Public Transportation Company, called GSP Beograd, a major provider of public transportation, is in the first place obliged to drive Belgrade citizens to the destinations of the determined itinerary, including inner city areas as well as suburbs, performing reliable, punctual, safe and comfortable service. Every day such service is provided by the motor pool, counting 1,227 vehicles, trams, trolleys, and buses. And everything started 112 years ago. The Municipal Council of Belgrade, at that time the capital of the former Kingdom of Serbia, decided to facilitate public transportation by introducing trams drawn by horses, at the time still a modern means of transportation. Concession for trams was granted to the foreign companies represented by Pericles Tsikos from Milan. The first horse-drawn tram, as referred to by Belgrade citizens, commenced its first voyage according to the old Serbian Orthodox calendar on October 1, 1892. Signatories to the concession contract were also on the photograph shot on that occasion. The first tram route connected Kalemegdan Park and Slavia Square. Line number two traveled to the railway station and tram intersection was located next to the officers club housing the student cultural center at present. Even today the public transport intersection is still situated at that spot, but the majority of passengers do not even suspect that once upon a time the horses used to trot along the same route. Horse trams immediately became the favorite means of transportation. The ride cost only five pennies and streetcar stopped at passerby's hand wave to let the passengers board the vehicle. Very few photographs were saved showing the very first streetcars riding across Belgrade. However, in 1893 Belgrade got its first electric power station and therefore in June 1894 its first electric streetcar was put into operation. Number three traveling to Topchider Park. The favorite recreational gateway for Belgrade residents was a popular route. By 1912, Belgrade had eight electric tram lines and 36 vehicles servicing 100,000 residents of the capital. After World War I, the network of streetcar routes expanded and care of public transport was undertaken by the Directorate for Trans and Illumination of the Municipality of the City of Belgrade. The backbone of the public transit was route Kalemegdan Terazije Slavia, with tracks diverting in the direction of the suburb.
Beginning in 1925, buses were introduced to Belgrade public transit system. Judging by the crowds recorded in the old movies, buses were popular means of transportation at that time. Even back then, advertising messages were displayed on the vehicles, such as the one for the famous department store, Mitic. In addition to public transport vehicles, the Directorate for Trams and Illumination was also in possession of vehicles with designated purposes, such as trucks for washing and sweeping the streets. Since the end of the 19th century, streetcar number three ran down Kneza Milosha Street heading for Topchider Park. Later on, detouring off that route, tracks of the line number 12 ran to Dedinje and line number 13 ran to Čukarica. Between World War I and World War II, Two major routes of the streetcar traffic met at the intersection nearby London Restaurant. The square by Prince Michael's Monument was a significant traffic hub with many tram lines intersecting at that spot. From that point, route number nine ran to the Karaburma meat processing plant. Running along King Alexander Street, route number six connected downtown core with the Svetko market. Secondly established tram itinerary, a streetcar route number two, was gradually extended and eventually combined into a single whole circle itinerary traveling across Belgrade. The uphill route along Kalamegdan Park was built even before World War I, and since that time, the trams have climbed the slope carrying passengers from the direction of the railway station and Sava Harbor towards the city core. Concurrent to city growth, public transportation developed inevitably. That is to say, in the beginning of the 30s, Belgrade had 13 tram lines and five bus lines with 176 vehicles carrying 45 million passengers annually in the city, counting 300,000 residents. In the 20s and 30s, streetcars manufactured by the world-famous firms such as Siemens, AEG and Škoda circled around Belgrade alongside first domestic vehicles manufactured in Smederevo and Slavonski Brod. In 1940, a streetcar produced by the Breda company was procured, the first public transport vehicle in Belgrade with semi-automatic door closing. On April 6, 1941, Germany launched an attack against the Kingdom of Yugoslavia and Belgrade was bombed by German aviation. <laughs> <laughs>